Dear students, in this lecture we will discuss quantum mechanical problem that is particle in a box. We will discuss that what happens to the particle when it is trapped within the certain region of the space and what will be its kinetic energy, its momentum and its wavelength when it is restricted to move within a box. Here you can see that this is the image of the particle which is trapped within this box, within this region of the space that is here. This particle can move back and forth freely but it cannot come out of this box. So what an important question is that what will be the energy of this particle within the box? So here the particle energy is quantized so important question is that why the energy of trapped particle is quantized so here you can see that particle move back and forth between the wall of box that is wall or hard it cannot move out of these walls it cannot go out of this box so here we make assumptions that the ball of balls are infinitely hard so particle does not lose its energy each time when it strikes the ball of box. So here we will discuss this problem from the wave point of view and for, from the particle point of view. So first of all we will discuss from the wave point of view as the wave nature of the moving particle leads to some remarkable consequences when the particle is restricted to a certain region of space instead of being able to move freely here you can see that this is the particle is moving back and forth but it cannot come out of this box so when the particle is trapped within this region then it's from the wave point of view this trapped particle in a box is like a standing wave in a stretch stream between the wall of box so here you can see that that is the wave function of this particle that is the de Broglie wave uh, which is uh, of this particle this wave become zero at the wall this wave function is zero at the wall because waves stop here at the boundary that is so we can wavelength can be specified by the width of this box so the width of we assume that the width of this box is L. So the maximum wavelength of this particle can be equal to lambda is equal to 2L. So next will be next will be lambda is equal to L and then so on other will be equal to the lambda is equal to 2L by 3. So, the de Broglie wavelength of the trapped particle can be specified by the formula lambda n is equal to 2L by n. Here, n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, by putting the value of n in this formula, we can find out the different wavelength uh, like putting the value of n is equal to 1 then wavelength will be there will be the maximum wavelength which is equal to lambda is equal to 2l and then put in the value of n is equal to 2 then this will be the psi 2 that is uh, wavelength is equal to lambda is equal to l and then so on so from the wave point of view so uh, we can say that here the particle uh, in a box behave like standing wave on a stretch string. So now we discuss 
from the particle point of view is momentum of the particle mv is equal to s by lambda is and so the kinetic energy of particle is equal to 1 by 2 mv square as because mv is equal to h over lambda so the restriction which is imposed on the t broccolid wavelength that is the wavelength uh, of the particle wave of the particle stopped at the boundary of the bar and so the maximum wavelength uh, of the particle is of the particle is related to the width of the box so these are the restriction which is imposed on the deep rock wavelength of the particle and so these uh, uh, which is restriction imposed by the width of the box are equivalent to the limits on the momentum of the particle because momentum mv is equal to h over lambda which is related to the wavelength and in turn the restriction on the momentum is equal to equivalent to limits the kinetic energy of particle because kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m v square here we can uh, simplify it's like by multiplying and dividing and it will be equal to the m v whole square divided by 2 m so putting the value of m v in this equation it becomes like s square over 2m lambda square so lambda n is equal to 2l divided by n now putting the value of lambda the kinetic energy will be equal to e and is equal to m square s square divided by 8m l square so this is the energy here e n is the uh, is the energy represent the energy level and m is the quantum number so each permitted energy is called as energy level and n specifies here the number of energy level and it is the quantum number equal to the quantum number So this is the energy of the particle in a box. Now we come to the conclusion of these problems. Here we have the two important conclusions. Number one says that the particle which is trapped can have only a specific amount of energy only. That is, particles can move only in a specific energy level, that is C1, E2, or E3s, and so on. So, these energy levels are called as allowed energy levels, and particle is restricted to move only these allowed energy levels. So, the other conclusion is that a trapped particle cannot have zero energy, since the de Broglie wavelength particle is like lambda is equal to h by mv so here if we put v is equal to 0 so 0 v is equal to 0 mean that the infinite wavelength so but there is no way to have the infinite wavelength with the trapped particles so the particle must have some kinetic energy so for he is exclusion of e is equal to zero for a trapped particle is like a limitation of e to a set of discrete value of energy so e is equal to zero is not allowed for a particle which is trapped within the box um, so the important point here is that the this classical physics cannot explain E is equal to zero for a trapped particle. It can be explained only in a quantum, uh, in a quantum physics. That is, uh, when we go to the classical mechanics, then uh, uh, there are uh, in classical physics where all non-negative energies, including zero, are allowed. 
so these two are the important conclusion uh, which can be which we consider for a particle which is trapped within a box so the energy of particles are quantized so thank you for watching